we have a great deal of respect for you Absolutely. and throughout the trials and tribulations you may have went through in your life you kept your faith strong you kept the family tight i know you were saying earlier during our conversation that you spent some time in the entertainment business now seeing the whole world go full circle and seeing your son in the entertainment business is this something that you saw prior to tori even telling you he was passionate about music no, it's not, not really, wasn't really a surprise to me because uh, what many people don't know is that Tori has um, three other brothers uh, born from his mother, and all of them are very passionate about music. All of them are as talented as he is. I usually tell people, and not just because they're my kids, but I usually tell people that they are as talented as anybody out there and more talented than most. That's not a boast. That's something I've always let them know about their own ability. And um, in fact, very soon from now, 2018 is going to see a whole other dimension uh, of the Peterson family because I have one son, Moses. He goes by the artist name Yoko Gold. Mm. Okay. He is about to drop uh, his first EP. In fact, I was on the phone with him just about two days ago. Mm. And uh, his manager's on his way to New York to broker a deal with Apple Music Wow! Uh, to get behind him. His music is amazing. He is one of the most talented writers I know. Wow, and so we're we're definitely going to have to check out his music because if he if you said that all your whole family they're <laughs> all just as talented if not even more talented than Tory and trust me, Mr. Peterson, when wow. it comes to Tory Lanes, Tory is one of my favorite artists of all time, one of Aaron's favorite artists. Yes, absolutely. we um, our first episode of our podcast was to pay respect to Tory Lanes. <laughs> It was a little skit that he did on a, on his mixtape a few years ago, Conflicts of My Soul. And there was right. a skit on there that he was talking about a, a female coming on coming on to him and trying, uh -huh. to, tr trying to pursue him. So he said she started coming on to the Fargo. And we made that kind of like a whole, <laughs> um, a whole like co code alert, some, some type of thing that only my friends and I understand. So we actually named our first episode Peep the Fargo. <laughs> because we are swavy citizens and we uh we, trying we, to pay respect our absolutely, honors absolutely absolutely yeah. <laughs> i appreciate hearing that guys so you're going to hear from them man in, in 2018 um the oldest son uh his name is yeshua which is a hebrew pronunciation of joshua uh he goes by the the artist name hollywood so mm. uh oh i've, I've heard i've heard uh tori shout hollywood so out in a song Right, he just, he just, uh, in fact, just got a deal with Sirius, um, uh, Sirius Satellite. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, uh, his music uh, debuted at 1.43 uh, on the independent artist uh, chart. Uh, I think Ed Sharon is currently at number one on that chart. And within three weeks, uh, his song from a virtually unknown artist right. went from 143 to 134 in a week. And then we spoke two weeks later, and he said that it's actually at number 40. It's right now, it was at number 40. And that was going into the holidays. Now, the people who have put it on, the, the, the radio trackers and so on, they are very mm -hmm. excited. So come January, they're going to be pushing it even harder. It has just gone uh, on another chart for wor worldwide chart on the top 200. So there's so many things happening for these guys. And I'm saying all of that to get back to the fact that they grew up around creativity. They grew up around music. I started in the industry as a dancer. Yeah, I was going to ask you that. I'm a qualified choreographer. Wow. I'm into very visual things. So they've come up around that. So it really wasn't a surprise to see them go in that direction. I think now more than anything, it is what is surprising, not the, I don't even say surprising, but what is causing me to just stand in amazement is that, you know, without planning it, we're, we're pretty well building a, a family dynasty in terms of the entertainment and arts industry because now I have a five-year-old son 
mm-hmm. who just automatically gravitates in that area and what he is is doing or trying to pursue now is what Tory started really showing signs of when he was about 10, 11. And what were but some of these signs? Something, I'm, I'm sorry? And what were some of these signs? Sorry to cut you off. No, no problem. What were some of the signs? Yes, sir. Well, you know, when we were here in Florida, there came a time when these guys, uh, all four of them, would literally, one would go sit in the garage, another one would be in a room over there, the other one was in another room, and they're all with their pen and their notebooks, and they're writing, they're writing bars from the time they were very, very young. So, and then, of course, being brothers, you know, brothers brothers fight, brothers love, and they just really encourage each other, they just inspire each other. There's always something to me about the youngest child that has to now struggle for their own place in the midst of all of that, which happened to be him, Tori, right. and and I think it pushed him to try to even outdo what everybody else around him was doing, and he has had the kind of a drive, uh, you know, where he literally has gone past them in terms of of getting out there and getting his stuff to be heard. You know, this is a kid that left Toronto about 17 years old to come back to Florida. Right. You know, he had some, some friendships down here, some relationships, and would literally come and do the whole selling of your mixtape out of the back of a car down on South Beach and, right. you know, getting way. the music out. So he's all he's had that kind of drive. I, I've i told him, I said, you know, they, they used to say of James Brown, they used to, one of his introductions was the hardest working man in show business. I said, man, you, you look like you're the hardest working man in show business these days. Absolutely. He, he stays in the studio. He stays working. He doesn't, he doesn't play at all. Like, I'm a huge fan of Drake and I'm a huge fan of Tory. Being a fan of both of them, and they both create fantastic music. And so, as a fan just of music, right, I would it, it, it sucked not seeing them two link up to do music together when they were beefing and everything like that. You know what yeah. I mean? It, it's hard. Yeah, they should have. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. They should really make music together. Do you think they? Do you think that um, they they will have some type of a, a track out soon or anything like that? I believe that's going to be in the works, um, just based on talking to him. I believe that that's to come in the future. So that one I will look forward to. 